taking anything for granted anymore when it comes to what's going on in the world. I guess it's just because there's so much stuff going on, it's hard for people to keep up. But uh, we had a conversation with someone here recently, and uh, they were disputing my claim that Seventeen Magazine and some other of these teen magazines are actively promoting Sodom and Gomorrah. And this lady, she wasn't uh, endorsing the use of those magazines, but she was just disputing that basic claim that I was making. And I didn't have the facts to lay down or any documentation to lay down. Um, so uh, the conversation ended that, that way. And then I was just kind of blown away, though. I, I know what I see when I go through the grocery line and see these magazines, you know, uh, soft porn most of the time. Uh, but I see the promotion of Sodom and everything. Well, I got one in the mail today. One of my girls signed up for some magazines several years ago. She canceled them shortly afterward. Uh, but these keep coming. And it's been several years now. I get 17 and Vogue. <laughs> and I can't remember some of the other the titles that come in. And <clears throat> So I just throw them away. But as I was throwing it away, I looked down and I saw the uh, one of the cover stories was titled Meet the New Transgeneration. And then over to the right, the reader story is, quote, I made out with my BFF. Now what? Well, as you can imagine, um, this story of uh, making out with her BFF is uh, two girls. And uh, so when you open up the uh, the front where they, you know, they tell you what the magazine's about, you have Hi from Michelle, and this is Michelle Tan, the editor-in-chief, and she has her little page, um, like most magazine editors take a page and talk about the issue, and she says, quote, what I'm grateful for this month, and one of the things she's grateful for is the sla uh, um, hash trans is beautiful movement. She says, quote, I'm thankful for all the vibrant teen, uh, transgender teens who shared their stories with senior editor Andrea Stanley. These teens represent the joy, confidence, and purpose each one of you can find when you embrace and express your true self. Meet them all, starting on page 104. Well, the problem with that uh, message is that uh, if you if you identify the true self as the unsaved, unregenerate man or woman that you are before coming to Christ and before being saved and regenerated and uh, all things become new, uh, then expressing your true self in that sense will send you straight to hell. And you need to, to repent of what you are Repent of what you have done. Repent of what you believe about God and yourself. And you need to repent toward God with faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. And that should be the message that uh, we, tell, we give young people. But instead we tell them to esteem themselves. Love yourself. You're looking at an unsaved world. Unsaved kids by the millions are being told that in public schools today. It's the gospel of Satan. Love yourself. Esteem yourself. No, the gospel of Jesus Christ says Christ died for our sins. We are sinners. We are wretched. We are worms, as hymn writer wrote. And instead you get this slop from Seventeen Magazine. I made out with my BFF, and it tells the story of some girl named Amber who um, met another girl named Hannah, and they ended up making out, as, it, as the story goes. And they, they just uh, run the story as a good uh, uh, tale about how to save your friendship. If you, know, if you have a BFF, and, a, and then the, some of the other stories are boys with girls and girls with boys. They shouldn't be making out. <laughs> I mean, that's the, the bottom line is you're, you're sexualizing these kids. And instead of teaching them that God has a purpose for sex and it involves marriage, instead, this is the crap, satanic crap, 
Seventeen magazine is putting out to our kids. And so you go to the, the story about uh, the Meet the New Trans Generation. And uh, you have uh, the story, uh, Just Your Average Transgender Teen. You've heard of Caitlyn Jenner, Jenner you've, and uh, Laverne Cox. Now meet the transgender teens of your generation. They stress about grades, crush on celebrities, have friend drama, and obsess over Snapchat. Above all, they want to be free to do their own thing, like you. Well, when your own thing is an abomination to God, then uh, it's destructive, and you need to teach those kids that it is destructive and get them to repent. But that's not what this story is all about. This, this story is all about embracing the wickedness and promoting it among the young people. Seventeen Magazine. And if you don't think your kids are reading this because they don't have a subscription, they get it for free if they go to the public schools and go to the public school library. And they get it free at the public library outside of schools. Free. Anytime the kids want to read it. As long as you're not around to slap it out of their hands, they can get it for free. So you need to be aware of this stuff, parents. This uh, Zoe that they do a, uh, a story on. And... Uh, says, quote, as soon as I got to wear makeup in public, I was like, this is me. And somebody should have been there to say, this is wickedness. But Seventeen Magazine, Seventeen Magazine is a magazine parents give to their children if they want them to go to hell. Seventeen Magazine goes on to show several examples including a, a girl that now has taken uh, male uh, hormones and can grow a beard. And uh, he, used to, he said, she says, I used to walk hunched over, but now I stand up because I'm proud to be myself. And uh, pride goes before destruction. And teaching these kids to be proud of their wickedness and their sin. That's what Seventeen Magazine is all about. Isaiah 3, 9, The show of their countenance doth witness against them, and they declare their sin as Sodom. They hide it not. Woe unto their soul, for they have rewarded evil unto themselves. Seventeen Magazine, and all these teenage girls acting like boys and boys acting like girls. They declare their sin as Sodom. So 17 is satanic trash. That's all there is to it. Same magazine, page 114. What else do you get? A little more Satanism. Some horoscopes. And you see that on you see that among professing Christians. They call themselves gay Christians. They post their horoscopes, their astrology charts. And guess who the big hero at the very end of the magazine in this edition is Gloria Steinem. <laughs> the feminist icon and author says getting involved really does pay off. That wicked witch couldn't die soon enough. And if she doesn't repent, she's going to split hell wide open. So there you have it. If you think that Seventeen Magazine and these other teen mags aren't actively supporting and pushing Sodom and Gomorrah, you're sorely mistaken. You need to wake up and share the information with anyone else that needs to hear it.